Hello and welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Lexmoto Chieftain. Very, very big scooter this one. And an ideal urban commuter, especially if you live in London or if you live in a town. Save on your congestion charge. And as you can see, absolutely adorable machine. These come in two colours. So the blue and white and it also comes in the red and black functions. So we're just going to start the machine up. As you can see, all the clocks come online. Find the brake. And a nice little purr to that engine. Now while that's warming up, I'll tell you a couple of things about it. Obviously it's equal to scooters of other brands, of a similar size. And there's some lovely wheels on this. Nice big disc brakes on it, dual braking function as well on the Lexmotos and I do like these tread plates that they've got in it just to grip the feet while you're underneath it. So I'm going to be taking this one out and having a little ride on it and a bit of a road test just to see the comfort, the performance and obviously give you an idea as to what this scooter will do. So we're just going to uh, run this down the road. Now once again, very, very comfortable. You can either have your feet tucked down to the floor or out in front of you, cruiser style. So. And we twist and go, obviously. Nice and easy just to step on the gas over those speed bumps and away you go. We're obviously just checking for other traffic in the area. Think with this, obviously nice big mirrors to see what's behind you, who's following you, and it saves having to constantly check over your shoulder just to make sure you've got nothing in your blind spots. This does take up all the blind spots with these mirrors. Suspension on this, although it's quite hard, the seat is very, very soft, so it levels itself out on your backside. You're not being bumped around like you would with a smaller scooter that is 125 that's picking up all the bumps, obviously, most scooters. Suspension is very hard. This one, just sailing over the bumps. Obviously, it's a very cold, windy day today. Now, with this one, normally the horn is the very bottom one. With the Lex Motos, the indicators are on the bottom, so... Being a biker from another brand, it does take a bit of getting used to. Go for the indicators every time and hit the horn, but obviously, once you're used to all these controls here, and I do like the idea of the flash button. So just pop the headlights, flash the traffic. Very sweet tick over. Now obviously I'm for quite a way back on the seat and I can still touch the floor on this, so very nice seat height on this one. We'll just wait for the traffic to clear. And we'll just do a, a quick test how quick it does get up to 30 mile an hour. Oh wait, we'll just have a look. Obviously this one's got 20 miles on it because we are ride testing it for a customer before delivery. Just pop my screen up so I can get some air. Obviously today I happen to pick shopping day to go and ride so and here we go. So we're off on the throttle. And we're at 30 already, so quite rapid up to the 30 mile an hour in town. Oh, cancel the indicators and touch the horn again. 
So as I say, it's something you're going to have to get used to. Just a different placement of the controls, but obviously that's the same as switching to a car that's got right-hand indicator stalk from a left-hand indicator stalk. So let's just put it through the roundabout and see what these are. Uh, and it is very, very well planted. Coming off the roundabout, and it does take a nice straight line through that roundabout, so. And obviously with a scooter this size, it does dominate the lane. You've not got cars trying to sneak past you on that first lane. So, it does dominate the lane very, very well due to its size. Now obviously I'm not wearing my levers today like I normally would. I've just got a normal pair of trousers on. But uh, with this fairing around me, I'm not feeling the cold through my legs very much. All the wind's being deflected off of my legs. Nice big fairings on this, so ideal. And the feet, I do like the way the feet have got two positions, so you can either straight out in front of you, cruiser style, or basically horizontal dead flat on them boards. wait for the traffic to clear once again and I, as we head down I'm going to put it through a double roundabout just to obviously see and just look at that just how it steers its way through the roundabout very very well planted for a 125 scooter and uh, just coming up to the roundabout quick lifesaver over the shoulder check the traffic and once again through the roundabout, leaning in the corner, and just look how planted that is, absolutely beautiful. Obviously there's a lot of wind as you can tell from the wind noise off my helmet, and I'm not even moving, I'm not being blown around at all. So obviously the extra weight of this scooter is an advantage. even at 40 mile an hour I'm not being buffeted at all by the weather so absolutely beautiful just coming into roundabout nice bit of front brake there and that does pull up very very quickly and just look at the way that leans through that roundabout a little bit of power to bring it off the back end and absolutely beautiful Now we always get this on the videos, why are you staying in the outside lane and not going to the first lane? Simple reason is, I've got about 200 yards before I get to the next roundabout where I'm going to be turning right. So, as in all my videos, I tend to stay to the outside because staying on the inside lane, you're always going to be cut up or want that car to get in the way. Just a quick look at them controls again. So as you can tell, it's 10 past 2. So far I've done 2.1 miles and very very good placement of all those clocks especially at night they do light up lovely at night so straight on the throttle 20 and there we are we're straight up to 30 so very very rapid on the throttle absolutely perfect acceleration with very very minimal throttle a little bit of both brakes. The braking response on this is absolutely beautiful. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm keeping up with the flow of traffic, so I'm not hindering anybody's ability to sort of maintain their journey. It does hold itself very, very well. quite impressed with this. Uh, as a bike rider, this is actually a lovely scooter. And 
it's still very, very comfortable on the, uh, the posterior, as we say. I'm not feeling any of these bumps, so it is a very nice spongy seat, although I've got quite a firm ride. I can feel everything that's going on through the handlebars, which is what you should feel, the response of the machine. again off we go through the roundabout absolutely beautiful actually looks like we've got back just in time to beat the weather and I've now got the hang of where the indicators are so literally within five minutes it's changed my riding style to actually getting used to having the indicators on the bottom no doubt I shall get back on my other bike tonight and be pressing the indicators instead of the horn or the vice versa but lovely little bike let's just bring this to a stop I just want to uh, slow manoeuvre into a corner just to see look at that even at slow speeds the bike is very very manoeuvrable here we are back at Eclipse so I'm just going to pull this up on the yard and we'll take one last look, obviously just pop this onto the stand and let's just see how easy it is, look at that so light, big bike yet very very light on the foot so once again, there we go, this is the Lexmoto Chieftain absolutely glorious piece of equipment this one that is available to view, just have a quick look at those daytime lights, let's just come down to that level as you can see, very, very bright. All LED again. So it is available at Eclipse on 01908 643 603. Come and have a viewing of this or give us a call if you want to purchase. Thank you.